Hi, my name is Dale Brown. Back in 2001, I wrote a little book entitled Your Father in Heaven, Devil is Your Divine. Now, the reason I wrote it was because I'd been a Christian for about 20 years at that point. Been involved in a, quite a few different types of ministries, evangelism and uh, foreign missions, uh, you name it, boat ministry, uh, traveling on the coast of Alaska, around Seattle and whatnot. One of the things that I noticed in a lot of Christian churches was the ministry of deliverance or anything that had to do with demonology was usually something that was avoided. It is very controversial and it comes across as very negative. But Jesus, about a third of his ministry had to do with casting out demons and dealing with the devil. So from my experience and involved in that type of ministry, I thought, well, I'll write a book and that might be educational for some folks. And so that's what I did. So that was 2001. And back then, there was these new publishers that were starting to come on the market that published books on demand. So if you're a first time writer, first book, uh, you could have these guys print your book for you. It was relatively inexpensive. And so that's kind of the route I went. I used uh, a group called First Books Library. It eventually morphed into something called Author House. And that's basically what I want to address today. You know, we get educated a lot of different ways. And it all costs us something because we have to spend time doing it. Sometimes it's through the School of Hard Knocks. Some people go to universities and spend, you know, $50,000 or so for an education. Uh, they get a diploma. Sometimes it helps get a job. Uh, and this was an educational process for me, writing this book, because I'm really not a writer, but I wanted to share my experience because quite often I'd have people say, you know, you need to write, write a book. You need to share that with people. And so um, I did. So this is how it works with these vanity press businesses. You send them your manuscript along with your payment for the agreed upon printing package. They in turn do the layout, they design a cover and send you a copy for proofreading and your approval. I was never quite satisfied with this part of the procedure, but I'll move on. They copyright the title with an ISBN number and list it with many of the commercial online booksellers. Then you begin buying your books from Author House for your personal use and you're led to believe that you'll receive royalties on books that they sell. I actually received a couple of small checks for the first couple of years, but I lost interest due to what happened on 9-11. My wife and I got sidetracked by traveling to Muslim mosques around the country and researching and speaking on this new evil that had just happened. Then, first books morphed into Author House, and I began getting calls from them trying to sell me expensive promo packages. That was the end for me because I could see they were not a bit interested in selling my book. At the price they were charging me for the books, there was not much chance of making any money reselling them myself either. Author House was simply looking to milk me for whatever they could get. I was thankful that I had bought into this with the bare bone entry package and nothing more. So this was my part of education at Author House University. Then I began to see dozens of complaints on the internet by other authors who had invested large sums of cash, thinking this was going to be a profitable endeavor for them. I contacted some of them and found that few of them had ever received any royalties either. As the years went on, on occasion I would see my book listed on used bookseller websites and I'd purchase a few. I bought them from secondhand sellers all around the country and they would arrive in various degrees of use. One even had markings from a public library. After not seeing any royalties for over 10 years, I made some critical comments on a few Facebook pages that were run by Author House, and within a few hours, my Facebook page was shut down. I can only assume that Author House complained loud enough for my account to be shut down with no explanation. So, authors beware. Never invest any more than what you're willing to lose. As Rich Matoko of the New York Times wrote in 2009, quote, self-publishers are flourishing as writers pay the tab, unquote. Author House, Author Solutions, iUniverse, WordClay, 
They're all joined at the hip in a hedge fund conglomerate called Bertram Capital. For a time, they were connected to Penguin Random House. David Garan on his website called Let's Get Digital records quite a history of lawsuits and issues with those connected to Author House. And he has some very valuable advice for us authors in search of a safe publisher.